Hello! In this video, we'll be taking a look at an example configuration of a Myth TV backend. And in this example, the tuner will be an HD Home Run Prime, and the guide data will be from Schedules Direct. Schedules Direct can be used for free on a trial for seven days. And you want to go ahead and click on Sign Up, fill in the information under software you use well, let's indicate uh, Myth TV after you have signed up for Schedules Direct and have the confirmation email open up terminal type in HD home run config discover hit enter it's going to give you an IP address on your local network copy that open a browser and go directly to that address. That's going to bring up the local web page within that device. And click on Channel Lineup. And click on Detect Channels. Give it enough time to find all the channels. And what you want to see here is the lack of the DRM on the channels that you want. In my case, Comcast in South Florida there's a channel called Sunshine. Um, it's DRM. Pretty much the rest of the channels are, are viewable. And in the case of a DRM channel, a Myth TV will not be able to record or view that channel with a cable card tuner. Let's start Myth Muntu Control Panel. A repository has already been added. Um, version 32 is the uh, current stable version. Uh, this will be a primary backend. Use XML TV. That is going to be required for Schedules Direct with version 32. This will be a desktop front end. And let's go look at um, setup. Already added the user to the group. Link to config. Uh, run Myth TV backend setup as a Myth TV user. That's going to be required to use Mythbuntu Control Panel um, to set up the system with schedules direct. We're going to start Myth TV backend setup. Type in your password. Go into general. Go into backend setup. Set the security pin to zero 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 zero. Let's head down to Capture Cards. Hit Enter with New Capture Card highlighted. Head down to New Capture Card, hit the right arrow. Card Type, hit this down arrow. In this case, it's going to be an HD Home Run Network Tuner. Hit Enter. Hit the right keyboard arrow. Under Recording Options, hit the right arrow key. Deselect EIT scan. Hit escape. Save. Alright, we're going to have to redo that two more times for each of the um, tuners. Let's head down to video sources. With that highlighted, hit the right arrow key. Hit enter with new video source highlighted. Highlight new video source, hit the right arrow key. We need a video source name. Let's call it SD. Click OK. Down arrow. Listings Grabber. Click on the down arrow. Select Schedules Direct XML TV. All this can remain blank. Let's hit Save. Alright, let's head down to Input Connections. Let's hit the right arrow key. OK. Click the down arrow. MPEG 2. Hit enter. Hit enter. Let's call this Prime 1. Hit OK. Video source. We're going to give that SD. And save. Let's do it again. Input name. MPEG.
video source is SD. Alright, let's save that. Let's head down to storage directories. For the default, I'm going to add a new directory. We're going to go to var lib myth tv recordings. Hit OK. Left arrow. Live TV, add new directory, var, lib, myth TV, live TV. Hit OK. Let's head down to video sources. With that. SD selected, hit the right arrow key. Hit the right arrow key. Hit enter. Down twice. Hit enter. So we want the JSON format here. Click on Enter. Alright. We're going to have date only. Click Enter. Okay. Enter your username and hit Enter. For the lineup, I will need to enter USA. And hit Enter. Enter the zip code. I have Comcast, so I will enter one zero. I'm gonna enter yes to choose this line up. Hit escape to finish. Hit escape. Alright, let's go back to input connections. We're gonna fetch the channels from the listing source. That can take a while to finish. Let's escape out of here. Let's go to Channel Editor. The channels should now be displayed. Let's escape out of here. Alright, let's exit setup. We're going to select No here to not start the back end. We're going to enter Yes here to run Mythfill Database. Okay, Mythfill Database can take a long time to run. Let's now quit. Mythbuntu control panel and reboot. After rebooting, start Myth TV front end. After doing this setup, it should be possible to watch TV, record TV, and the guide should be populated. Thanks for watching this video.